Hello everybody, uh, my name is Michael Woodside and today we're going to learn how to draw Jiminy Cricket. I know this is a different camera setup, but uh, recently I was hoping to find a way to make a more straight on view for everyone to be able to draw the same perspective that I'm drawing and got a new setup. So it's a little loud to transfer, so I just figured we could film the whole thing from here. Uh, you're here to see the drawing, not my face. Through quarantine, my face is getting bigger and bigger, so I don't have a wide enough camera. For we'll figure it out. Uh, let's let's just start, and I'll start talking while we're doing these circles. Uh, first things first, I'm going to use these uh, top corners of my page to do the circles. Full disclosure, I started recording this video, and then my brother called me and interrupted it because I forgot to turn my phone off and then uh, that stopped my recording. So I uh, started over again, but uh, I've already washed my hands and this is at a premium, so I don't want to keep using it, but you want to clean your hands before you start drawing. Um, that way you, your pencils are clean before you start. They've been in the drawer for a while, so you want to make sure that you have a lot of uh, thoughtfulness about cleanliness right now. So for people wondering who this is for, uh, this is for anybody who wants to learn how to draw or sort of pass the time as they're uh, in quarantine. We don't really have a lot of options for things to do and I figured this is a nice way to pass about a half hour, 45 minutes usually. Uh, it's classic Monday, so we usually draw a classic character and Jiminy Cricket is one of my favorite classic characters and he uses a lot of really classic design principles from the 40s. So I, I thought it'd be a fun one to draw. Hello Pinocchio. So I used this top part of the corner of the page to do my um, practice circles, and what that does is that helps my page just already be messy. So I don't have to worry about making a really clean drawing because it's already pretty uh, untidy. So what this tells me is that this is a practice drawing, and this is one that I'll be learning how to draw too many crickets, so I don't feel like I need to do a perfect drawing. So I like working with two different pencils. I'm going to start with a blue pencil and then I go back over with a black pencil. And what that does is that helps me separate the uh, thought process. So at first I'm working out the drawing with a blue and then later I'll come in with a darker pencil to outline the ones that I want to keep. And it has this cool effect of kind of making those blue lines in the back fade away, especially once you start shading things in. So do everything on the same piece of paper and I also on well, neither of these pencils have erasers there's no erasers so and I never stop to erase because I feel like every line got me here I mean I want to sort of learn through it cool so that has us started I'm warmed up I hope you are as well uh, I'm going to go ahead and begin with Jiminy so we're just gonna be drawing his head and he has a big hat on top so his head, we can start with a circle if you like, but there's also another thing you can do. His head is kind of an egg shape. So we just passed Easter recently. And uh, that's an egg, wider on the bottom, more narrow on the top. If you don't want to draw, if you're not comfortable drawing just an egg first, then maybe you can draw a circle. And then on top of that circle, do this part here. That's okay too. I'm gonna start with the egg here in the center. I wanna leave enough room for the hat on top. You can see how imperfect my lines are. They're just kind of a little bit all over the place, but that's okay because with this technique, we can really make it look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> Alright, there's my Jiminy egg. So he's going to be looking straight at us, and I have this ping pong ball to show why we draw those center lines. Um, if he's looking straight at us like he is, then we're going to have a perfectly vertical line and then a perfectly horizontal line. If he were in perspective, then that would change how his face looks. So if, his, if the center point <clears throat> is over here, it looks like he's facing this direction, over here, this direction. So it really has... Um, a lot of power to tell us early on in the drawing how we want to draw our characters. So I know already that he's facing this way in my little doodle. So as we're drawing, I go really slow um, so that people can keep up. If 
feel like sometimes if you see a professional artist draw a character, you know, they'll, they'll go really fast and then make you feel like, oh, I can never do that. But my hope is that by doing these lessons, you feel like you have the knowledge and opportunity to grow. Um, so we're going to go really slow drawing Germany, and that way hopefully everyone can follow along. So let's go ahead and do those vertical and horizontal lines. And when I do those, I like to do them quickly so that I'm not kind of doing really tepid, timid lines here, but really just make them go. So I'm going to start in the middle of the circle. Kind of drew mine out of the slant. My egg got a slant, but that's fine. And then my horizontal line, I'm actually going to put a little bit lower than uh, the center. I'm going to put it about here. See that a little darker so you can see it on the video. Okay, so right after drawing that, the first thing that I like to draw is the nose, because I think that usually helps us center our character and figure out where all the other parts go. So his nose is a very simple shape. It's a great shape to start off of. Last week we did a lot of really complicated shapes with Villains Week, so Jiminy is a great way to start. So this will be my practice Jiminy on the side. Um, it's a V shape that connects from the horizontal line to the center line. So this side of the page is a great place to do any kind of doodles. So if I do a line over here that scary or confusing, you can do a practice version of that over here. And the V, I drew it really straight. I'm gonna, the V I put on my final Jiminy is gonna be kind of rounded here. So the straight version would be like this to that, but it's kind of a little bowed out. So I'm gonna start here. This is one of those shapes that's so characteristically Jiminy that even right about here, you kind of know who this character is. Okay, so now that we have the nose, we know that we should branch off of the nose to do the little cheek lines. So what those are, those are kind of S shapes that come out this way and then a little bit down. So the first part of the S is bigger over by the cheek. And the S, if I were to turn this sideways, you can see it's kind of like a backwards S like that. So that's what this is. That's why we call it an S shape. There are really a few shapes that are pretty common in drawing you want to get good at, which is a circle, a straight line, S, forward and back, and then kind of stretched out this is the right place to practice all these shapes and then C shapes so that's like a half circle on both sides so you can get away with a lot with these these lines here so I'm gonna make my S shape go out here all the way out to the side of the circle same on the other side and as I'm drawing this one I'm also looking over to this side to try to make sure that they're about the same height So now that we have the cheek lines, we're gonna do the top lip. So this top lip is, it's actually a pretty long lip. So starting from right about here, further than halfway down the cheek line, just gonna do a really soft rounded shape, kind of half circle that goes from one side to the other. You can see even in this quick little doodle I did of Jiminy, he had a really long upper lip into this file here. 
let's let's open his mouth. So to do that, I'm just gonna draw a U. It connects from one side to the other. And again, I'm looking between here and trying to make sure that these are pretty even. And then inside there, we can do the tongue. So we've done this tongue many times before. It's a rounded M shape, or I've also described it as the, if you're drawing birds flying, then it's the bird that's flapping. Flock of birds. This is fun. Let's put this here and see if this works. Almost. This one. It's my name tag from Disney. This is a time where they were renovating and they said, you can take what you want. And so we grab this. Okay, so I'm gonna do the bottom lip, which is just another rounded shape. Just follows the same path as the bottom lip. Okay, so now we should do the top of these cheeks. These are the bottom of the cheeks, right? because he's smiling and they're pushing up. So the top of the cheeks are just little rounded lines that happen out here. Kind of connecting to the side of the egg or circle that we drew. And that'll be where his eyes connect from. And then I want to kind of branch out from our egg. So above that, I'm just going to pull out to the side and then round it back into the smile. Same on the other side. It just gives him those squishy cheeks that are so famous for him. Okay, now we can draw those eyes. So his eyes are these, they're kind of ovals that are, if this is the, sorry, we'll do it again. If this is a circle, then the oval is the tall version of that. And his ovals are kind of rotated out to the sides of his head very slightly. So it's kind of like an oval this direction for the left eye and then this direction for the right eye. So I'm gonna start slowly roughing that in and that bottom part of that oval connects to those cheeks. It should go up to the side of the face. Hope you all had a good restful weekend. Very hot in Los Angeles this weekend, so we stayed inside. Like in the 90, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, at least. Okay, so those are his eyeballs. They go out here. And then we're gonna draw his eyebrows which are just little rounded lines that go above that. They're not too thick. Like that. It's something we often do with our 
male characters is that we darken the top of the eyeball. Sort of infers eyelashes without having to draw little individual eyelashes. With a lot of the villains last week, like Ursula, she had individual lashes and Maleficent had individual lashes. Like a big sheet. So you can do that with the female characters, but Scar didn't really have lashes. He just had a thick line around both sides of his eyes. Okay, so we're just gonna branch out the head just a little bit from the circle. I don't, I don't want it to be, I don't want the eyes to be right up against the side. So it's just gonna be just outside. It sort of finishes off the bottom of his head. So now I wanna give him the brim of his hat, which is just a rounded line that connects the eyebrows together where it's higher in the middle. Okay, so now comes a really fun shape. It's gonna be the hat. So the hat, he has a big top hat and it sticks on his head and it's kind of rotated back a little bit. So we're gonna see the underside of the back of his brim back here. So I'm just going to start drawing a really rounded line. Not a lot of straights on him. It goes all the way around. I'm going to do this really light because we're going to affect the shape a little bit by the time we get to the top of it. Cool. So the part we're going to affect is I'm going to do next. I'll give you guys a second to catch up. happen right here. So I'm going to start dipping back in, kind of make another rounded shape, similar to the top of the mouth here. I'm going to keep these parts round because it's chimney, it's not a lot of hard shapes. We're about to draw really the only hard angle change that he has. And that's right here. So the top of his hat, I'm gonna draw two kind of curvy lines going out to the side like that. This should be on equal distances from the center of the hat. And then you can connect those with a really rounded line. I'm gonna go right through my logo. And that's my. And then we're just going to give him a little, he's got a little band on his hat that goes here. Of course, we forgot one major thing. That's his eyeballs. So he doesn't have uh, like an iris and pupil. It's all one big shape. So it's kind of an oval that happens right here. And I've talked about this before with other characters, but if you are drawing the eyes, a nice way to keep them from looking crossed is to make sure that as you're drawing them, you keep a little bit of distance between the inside of the eyeball and the inside of the iris. So for instance, if this is an eye here and then an eye here, if I instead drew it like this, then it might look like he's crossed and looking in. But since there's just a little bit of space, a little more space in this area, then that helps separate the eyes from each other. Still has that cute appeal, but not, not quite crossed. 
So within that shape, I'm gonna draw a little circle. And this will be an area that we don't color in. That's the highlight of his eye. It looks a little kooky right now, but once we color it in with our black, it'll be perfect. So let's start that process. So I am right-handed, and because of that, I like outlining things from the left side of my drawing. And I'll start up here. That way I don't smudge my arm across all these nice finished lines once they happen. Pinocchio is probably my favorite classic Disney film. It is gorgeous animation and artwork and a good story and really fun characters that stick around. So if you haven't seen it in a while, I would recommend going back to it. And you see the desk that I'm using is an animation desk, a Disney animation desk. And it's nice because you're able to rotate the sheet around, which you can do honestly at home with your own paper. What's nice about this is that it has these holes here that register the animation paper to other sheets so you can flip back and forth and keep the sheets in line. Um, so for your purposes at home, if you're just using a stack of papers, that's perfectly fine. Something I like to do as well is draw with other paper underneath it. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I always have a stack of paper under the drawing that we're working on, because it just gives the paper a little bit more um, give and helps me, helps the drawing not look so stiff. Because it's kind of slowly pressing into the paper. If there was nothing behind it and just the plastic back here, then it might be difficult to get the nice flowing lines that I like to get. He said while drawing bad lines. What are you gonna do? You know? What are you gonna do? Okay, let's do these eyebrows. So I'm just gonna color in the eyebrows dark. So not only was Jiminy Cricket in Pinocchio, but he's in some of my favorite shorts, my favorite classic shorts. They were called I'm No Fool. And he had a little song, I'm no fool, no siree, I'm gonna live to be 103. And then he would teach kids how to ride bicycles or how to uh, not play with electricity and then learn what electricity was along the way. Great short films, some of them are on YouTube, not in great quality, but still fun. Really charming animation. in my underdrawing that the cheek line was a little low, so just bring it up higher. Once we do these outlines too, I might just start adding a little bit of his outfit down here, because we have a little bit of room on the page. And he has some pretty simple shapes that are gonna add a lot, I think. In the same way that when you draw the eyes, they finally feel right. Jiminy has a collar that's easy to draw and it's sort of a signifying design for him. It's crazy that we are in week seven of Drawing with Lizzie, which means we are in week, well, I'm in week seven of quarantine. Some people started later than others or earlier. And then we have people who watch from Italy, from Ireland.
I like saving the eyes for last because that helps um, complete the drawing. So that's why I usually end up sort of skipping them for a bit. a little bit. We do have a couple big shapes to shade in, but not quite as big as Maleficent of last week. That was a lot of work. <laughs> but everyone's drawings look great. She's a really, really difficult character to draw, so it was cool to see everyone sort of tackle her. Even multiple times, some people showing their progress after practicing and drawing her again. I love seeing that. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do these eyes now. these videos is always to make sure that the quality of the video and the quality of the teaching is the priority so that everyone can learn how to draw these characters because I think what's nice about drawing especially right now is that at the end of it you're gonna have a cool drawing and there's a lot of unknowns in other parts of our lives right now but this is a great way to just have something that's that's a known. So last week's characters were a lot of pretty advanced characters and this week I'm going to try to pick a little more uh, universally fun to draw <laughs> so that everyone can have a good time. one eye. See how it's already half alive? <laughs> Drawing is magic. Yeah, let's do the other one. Okay, I want to shade in the hat. So I'm gonna do that. As I shade it in too, I like to move my hand in the same direction. So since I have chosen this kind of diagonal, I'm gonna try to stay consistent with that as I fill in the shape. And if you have trouble coloring in the lines, then this is a great place to practice that. I've already made a bunch of circles, so maybe you can try to color in the lines over here. You've been following me in these drawings, and you know that I have trouble with that too, so. And I'll use the practice.
color right over it. Pretty good. I've seen a lot of you get really creative with uh, when your drawings extend past your current page or you just tape another sheet of paper onto it. I love that ingenuity. Okay, I'm gonna just shade it a little bit. for his face. Let's see. That's a good one. So this music is from Tangled. If you don't know, the score for Tangled was done by Alan Menken, who did a lot of really great films in the 80s and 90s. Little Mermaid and Aladdin. One of my favorites. He also did the music for Enchanted. And then he wrote Vanellope's song in Wreck-It Ralph 2. Just like that, the music has moved on to Lion King. Life comes at you fast. Sometimes I don't even need the sharpener to do it to pause. Start shading a little bit. Kind of it's crease lines because the cheek is on top of the upper lip for that smile. Add a little bit of shading there.
Something else that you can do, I do this sometimes if I want to show that there's maybe like a wrinkle, but it's not as big, it's not a big wrinkle, so shouldn't draw too much um, attention to it by doing a dark black line. But if you just want to take the color that you're working with, which I'm working with a green here, and then just do a little rounded line above this nose, just to give it the indication of an M, like an indent there. Give some roundness to the nose here. Like when I drew over here, the Jiminy, he had a little bit of a bump on his nose here. But it's not a huge bump, so this little line there gives us that indication. Now let me get a red out for the tongue. While I have the red too, I'm just gonna add a little bit, just a little bit of rosiness to the cheeks. Probably can't even see it on the video, but it's there. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shade on the top of the eyes here. Okay, so we talked about one little thing to do for his costume, and I'm just gonna start it right about at the cheek line. Just draw a little straight line diagonally that comes out. And then have a rounded line that tucks in behind the bottom lip. A little collar similar last week we drew king candy Got that collar with the designs on it chimneys doesn't have any designs so it's a little simpler but it just adds a lot of uh it lets you remember that he's got that little suit down there it's a snazzy guy well dressed so i have that i'm just going to shade it in just a little bit just to show where it's contacting. Okay, I think we did it. That is Jiminy Cricket, so I'm just going to sign mine down here. You should sign yours. Of course, every time. Well, I hope you had a good time drawing Jiminy. I know I did. And uh, it's always nice to do a classic Monday, especially after last week, a really hard series of drawings. So uh, we're gonna have fun this week. I have a lot of cool characters planned uh, based on some of your suggestions you've given me in the past. So should have a good time together. Um, remember, you can always share your drawing online using the hashtag drawing with Woodsy. Uh, that's the best way for me to see it and to see everyone else who's done it. Uh, you can also tag me in it at Anna Woodsy. This is on Instagram or Twitter. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me today. I hope that uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. And remember, just because we're separated doesn't mean we need to be alone. And uh, thank you for spending your Monday with me. Have a great day. Bye now.